on guys, Lethal Flux here, and we're here with my buddy Ollie, who took first place at Logos today. What'd you play today, Ollie? Uh, I played Spectre. Spectre, an interesting version, right? What would you call the deck, like, if you had a brilliant, name for it? Brilliant Spectre, uh, performance. performance. Yeah. <laughs> brilliant Spectre performance. All right, we're gonna get into it. Main deck first, let's do it. All right, so for the monsters, play, uh, this. For the Magic Spectre engine, I played three Raccoons. Gotcha. <laughs> Raccoons really good. It, it searches a Magic Spectre monster, yeah. including itself, which is really good. It, it, it can search itself. Cool deal. So and Stratos, played, pretty much. Yeah. And then three uh, Fox. The trap, right? Yeah. Fox searches any traps. Really good. Got this attack is pretty good. And then the only other one I play is just one cat. I one cat, huh? Why just one? <laughs> Um, it's just there for a, a searchable low scale. Got it. And then it can search anything. I don't like Crow because Cyclone sucks and... Gotcha. Yeah. So I just think the one kind of search up. I cited it out every game today, so... Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Makes That's it for the Magic Spectre engine. So seven Spectres? Yeah, just gotcha. seven. And then for the performance engine, I play a uh, three plush fire. Of course, plush fire is amazing. Like opening up plush fire and Lester is very good. Like it's really good for a certain play because you get uh, pretty much king, omega, and then like two scales out. Yeah, it's really yeah. Good. Snow cone. And I play three. Uh, three of the mirror. Conductor. Yeah. Um, I like playing three of these because uh, because it's a low scale that you can search with damage juggler. Gotcha. So that's why I was playing three of it. I see a lot of those playing like two or one. It's just it's literally like pretty much just for the scale, right? Mm -hmm. Like because it's a searchable scale. Yeah, and it's All a searchable right, low sense. scale because you play a lot of five scales. Yeah. Which is why you don't play a. And that effect can come in handy too because plush fire can summon it. So. <laughs> yeah, and like it, it switches like the attack and defense. It's, it's a decent card. Gotcha. That's it for all the pen or no. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say pendulums, but they're still lessers. But yeah, play three damage juggler. Three damage, damage just, juggler. Really good yeah. search. The searcher for the perform ages and stuff. Yeah. And then it stops like wavering eyes in the mirror match or. Gotcha. Uh, you know, oh, yeah, because it negates wins. the card. Yeah, yeah, yeah that makes sense. As well. Yeah, it's really good. Gotcha. And then just one trick clown. Um, just one trick on. I huh? had two, but I never found myself being more than. Gotcha. No hat tricker at all. No, no, no hat trigger. <laughs> okay, cool. And then I play three lesser pendulums. Lesser pendulums. Best amazing. card in the deck, right? Yeah. Like, Definitely. <laughs> opening up this and just any skill is just really good. You yeah. open up this and plush fire or this and like fox. It's just it's so good. <laughs> and then for other monsters, I play two maxis. Yep. Um, Big card right now. Everything special summons. Yeah, just like get draw powers off. Gotcha. It's really good. Um, then I play two. Gem Knight Garnet. Yeah. Because I do play the I play brilliant. The brilliant fusion, yeah. So well, you can send like your trick clown, your damage juggler. Really we'll good. see that, yeah, we'll yeah. see that. <clears throat> and then play uh, one Masculine. Feral Imps, right? <clears throat> yeah. Searchable. Yeah, it's a searchable, searchable Reptile tuner. tuner. You never use this effect. You literally only use it yeah. just for... I mean, uh, in this build, you could. Yeah, you but... can play <laughs> Garnet. Yeah. Like, I tried to once, but then um, this guy, Michael, uh, <laughs> chained it. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for monsters. On the spells. <laughs> Yeah, I play three Wavering Eyes. Consistency, yeah. Yes, Wavering Eyes is amazing. It's so good. Gotcha. Like, it's not even for just a mirror match, just in general. Like, you ever resolve the last yeah. effect before? On the end. <laughs> <laughs> and then I uh, play three Brain Fusions. There it is. Yep. So why did you decide to play this card in the deck? Because, um... Destin Caspi is a really good player. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, so like Destin Caspi, he, he has a feature match in uh, San Jose, so you can check that out. But uh, yeah. he, like, I pretty much kind of copied his build. Um, could, like, that's why I started playing the deck is because I really liked it when uh, I played against him. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. So I just find like Brain Fusion, you got a Sephiroth. Sephiroth allows you to do two normal summons. Oh, so okay. Then, so that's why you don't play the hat tricker then, because it's kind of just yeah. you're already gonna get another. Yeah, normal right All right, that makes sense. So then, you, like, a lot of people think it's like, oh, like, then you can't use like Mask Chameleon or you can't normal summon Mask Chameleon, but you can like summon two like Magic Specters, and that's also really good. Yeah, gotcha. Because like, if you just like have out Fox, like you normal Fox, search Tempest, set pass. Yeah. Then um, they could go over Fox, then go off. Yeah. Then you'd have like Fox and Raccoon, and that's really good. For sure. <laughs> On to the next. Three up, Patrick Hoban up starts. <laughs> Signed by the man himself. Yep. Look at that. Cool. Different consistency. Yeah, I'm obviously. Reasons. Obviously, yeah. Uh, 37 card deck is good. Yeah. Then I play one Galaxy Cyclone. One Galaxy Cyclone. Gotcha. I play this because, uh, well, because I have it. And the uh, mirror, right? <coughs> well, it's good. Thing, just, uh, Vanities is still around. Yeah, just because this deck uh, kind of sucks around, like, floodgates. Gotcha. So it's good to, like, get past floodgates. So Because I don't mean MSCs. I just literally have this because, like, all you want to get rid of is floodgates. Gotcha, for sure. Onto the traps? Yeah, I play. Let's see the traps. Two Tempest and one Tornado. Okay. Yeah. Cool deal, man. Just to search. Um, Tempest is amazing. Tornado is good against Rogue. But otherwise, it's 
Yeah. Really yeah. not that good. <clears throat> All because it says target. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Same with the uh, Cyclone. The Cyclone was like destroy one card off field, like spells and traps. Or even if it just said like... Yeah. Yeah. It'd Next two. Better. Then the last two I play is uh, one bandies. Of one, course. One morning. Obligatory. Yeah. <clears throat> two. Yeah. Gotcha. So that's, that's still for the main deck. And the main deck's 40, yeah? Yeah. No, it's uh, 38. <laughs> it's 41 cards and 3 other suits. <laughs> <laughs> On to the extra. Yeah, extra. I play double Ignister. Yep. Everyone knows why he plays this. Card's good. Yeah, good against Magic Spectres or good against Cosmos because it doesn't target. You, uh, gotcha. Yeah, it's just a really good card in general. For sure. Especially for the second. I play one Omega. Card's Omega's busted. A, you yeah, can put Omega's your damage amazing. jugglers back in the graveyard with yeah, that, dude. It's, <laughs> it's so good. But That's then great. I like, messed up your opponent's plays. It's, it's a really good card. Mm -hmm. Then for Xyz, I just played the one um, Magic Paladin. Yep. Um, it's good. I, I think I only summoned it like, once or twice today, but it's a, it's a good card. And then I play one King of the Fire Lamps to search out. Um, yep, the Mask Chameleon. Yeah. We saw that. Good. One Castell. Yeah. Everyone knows why you play that. <coughs> Trampies. It's um, so OTK opportunities and stuff. Yeah. And you can target their monsters too. Yeah, it's not even like uh, you don't even need something just for if you're going for OTKs. Like it's good as like a it's a good floater too as well. Gotcha. <coughs> and then uh, Diamond Dire Wolf. Here we go. Just to get rid. This is pretty much your back row removal. Gotcha. So, for sure. Like, you just summon it, get rid of, like, it's kind of like blind MSing, but you're just like blind Diamond Diary. <laughs> <laughs> and I play one Tsukiyomi. Tsukiyomi is so good. I would play two of these if I could. If, yeah, just room is tight, huh? But you can only, like, have one on the field. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, well, yeah that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this card's amazing. I've gone from such bad hands to, like, summoning this, and, like, I've literally drawn, like, Luster and Plush Fire. I'm like, yes. <laughs> there you go, dude. <laughs> Next everyone, one. Uh, Everyone knows what that yeah. does, yeah. And you can get your, uh, your actually, you can get your garnets back too, because it's like yeah. So like, what's really good is like, <laughs> so for example, if you just have like, uh, let's say you have like garnet and a uh, any other monster, you could activate its effect, pay the cost, and then you can switch to uh, use this other effect to return three. Oh yeah, <laughs> because you'll have the uh, conditions meant to uh, summon the garnet, but like you won't have it to uh, return three. But then yeah. afterwards you will after you pay costs. Gotcha. So, yeah, a lot of people don't know that. And then I play one masquerade. It's good against like Cosmos. It's good against a lot yep. of uh, one of the similar. Uh, I kind of want to play two of these, but yeah. well, maybe not anymore, just because like the format's changed. <laughs> Abyss Rail is really good. Gotcha. And then I play one Alchemic Magician. Alchemic. I, yeah, I literally just threw this in because like I don't know, I don't know what else I would put in anyways. Because <laughs> she's pretty. <laughs> she got green hair. Yeah, That's my ex-girlfriend had green hair. <laughs> then two Sephiroth. Next two, and this is the one that gives you an additional normal summon, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so it's Ooh, really yeah. good. You could uh, discard the spell card to uh, let it gain its attack with Brain Fusion. Um, you never really use that though, but still. For sure. So this is the deck that went undefeated today at Locals. Thank you guys so much for wait, wait, watching. Side deck. And he wants to show the side deck. Gosh, so <laughs> side deck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't show the side deck sometimes because it's just kind of like preference, but yeah, go ahead. I play two side blockers. Oh, I guess this makes sense, yeah. yeah. Side blocker is so good. Right, Lucy? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> side blocker is amazing. Like, I love this card. I won't play three of it, but um, yeah. I don't know. I really love this card. And then two Dango Seccas. Hey. Dango Seca is really good. You summon it, then you just like, you're able to go off with yep. Luster and Plush Fire. So love you open bitch. up Luster, Plush Fire, and Dango. It's really good. I'm gonna play two Red Sonic Seas. Uh, I'm probably gonna take these out. I was gonna say, yeah, there's no more dolls or, you yeah, know. I mean, Infernoids uh, could be big, but. I was, it's because I was playing this for YCS San Jose in side events. So, uh -oh. yeah, I had like Red Sonic Seas and stuff. Gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> and then I played uh, one Lila. I Interesting. Would, I would probably play two of these. Really? Because um, it gets rid of back row and it's also a light spellcaster. You can make Suki Yomi, you can make Trampy. Oh, okay, you can, that you makes can sense. Summon it. Yeah. The mills, like, don't even really hurt you that much. Gotcha, that makes sense. So, yeah, I'd probably play two of those. I'm gonna play one uh, Samurai. The promo. Yeah. What does this card do again? It's like Construct, but... Uh, For, like, non-pendulums? Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> so, um, you make... So, it's good against Cosmos, because you make this, you get this out, and then you make a uh, Abyss Dweller. Gotcha. So, then you just attack, like, their Forerunner or their Dark Destroyer. For sure. Abyss Dweller's effects. Then one Thunder King, I'd probably actually take this out. I want... Yeah. Uh, two time space, time space. Best is, trap. Ooh, time <laughs> space is amazing. It won me like time. Because, uh, <laughs> they someone slip right and I activated this. Yeah. Oh. Such a bad card. Good. Ooh, so that's why this card went up from like $2 to like 15 <laughs> Yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> two Emperor Iron Wall. Yeah. Good against um Cosmos. Yeah, and uh Infernoids. Ritual Ritual Beast, uh Macro Monarchs and uh, <laughs> Macro Monarchs. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Infernoids. 
Yeah. <laughs> and then just double MST, get rid just of the last uh, two MSTs. Yeah, get rid of back row. Um, Floodgates and floodgates, shit. Yeah, like anti spell. Um, I don't know, skill drain. This deck like, really loses skill drain. Gotcha. Which is kind of why I play like Galax Cyclone. For um, sure, man. Just saying floodgates, really. It's really good. All right, now, this has been the deck that went undefeated. Brilliant performage magic specter, right? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Lethal Flux, and peace out.